welcome back to Lessons Learned. I'm Sherry and this is Finish It Friday where we see what I have finished this week and what you have finished this week. So come along with me as we check out the things behind me and also uh, we got some blues batiks blocks in. I uh, want to show you those and then also uh, what you guys have submitted as finished projects in the photo submissions um, in the email. So hang on and we'll we'll check all of those things out. As you can see behind me, I have the pressed flowers top done. And I love this. I love how it turned out. Um, I used a grunge dot in this area here for the finishing. And then I used a floral elements, uh, kind of a pewter gray uh, for these diamonds and also for the borders. And I think it would finish out really nice with a bright red or a bright, maybe a maybe a little bit brighter pink um, binding once I get it quilted. We'll see. But uh, this turned out really cute. I think I was really anxious to get it done this week, and I just jumped in and and did did it. So you'll be seeing this again uh, in the future when I get it quilted. But that project for the year is finished. Uh, as far as the top, the, the sew along is, is over. So we'll be starting a new one with the new uh, sew sampler boxes coming out in April, I believe. So um, yeah, I got that done. And then also I got all of my borders finished on, I did not get all my borders finished on this, on the Hazel's hat. But I am still making calculations on that final border. I'm having some issues. And I also remembered that I don't have any more of this. So I think I might just do a, another scrappy border around it instead of the, the pattern that this there. It's a cute border where it's um, snowballed on two sides. It's a really cute, looks like a picket fence kind of look. Uh, I really wanted to do that, but I could not get the math to come out correctly for that. So, yeah, stay tuned to see what I do with that. Um, probably next week I'll, I'll get that one finished and be able to show you back here that completed quilt top. I showed you this on Monday. This is from my Saturday class for, from... Um, my local quilt shop, uh, a class I took with Sari Diddy, a motor designer, um, Sarah Thomas, and I uh, got that finished. Um, like I said, you, you've seen that, but that is one thing I got finished this week. Um, what else? I think that's I think that's it. I'm working on a commission job right now too um, that I don't really have enough to really show you just yet. But if you came along with me on Wednesday in our little tag along video, you saw that I was um, working about getting a pattern for that. So um, yeah, I, I did show you some of those tasks that I have <laughs> to do. So I've been kind of working on that too. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's I think that's all that I could say that I worked on this week sewing. I had a lot of outside appointments and things to do uh, related to vehicles this week. Um, no, nothing major. It's just stuff that had to be done and trips that had to be made and you know pick me up at this time and take me back at this time and. It really cuts into my productivity. So let me show you. I went and picked up the mail and uh, you guys do not disappoint on your blocks for the Blues Boutique Charity Quilt. So I'm just going to name the first name and the state of who sent these blocks so that we can uh, give proper recognition to all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sending these blocks. They're going to be so much fun to put together. These two blocks are from Elizabeth from Utah. Beautiful. This one is not a batik, but I will be using it because it just fits in so well. This is from Bernadette of Maine. And you can see that has some uh, wolves on it. I think it'll fit in fine. Beautiful. And then uh, Sharon of California sent me 
four blocks. I love this one. They're all beautiful, but I love this one. And a purple one. Nice. And thank you for the cute card that you sent me. I appreciate that. This one is from Wisconsin and no name from Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Maybe you gave me a note and I didn't see it. Nope. And that's fine. No problem. Uh, there's several here. This one. This one. This one. And this one. Whoever this is, they, they were busy making the blocks. I love it. And this one. This is gorgeous. Love them all. And then these are from Shelly. I have two. I have one like this. And one with butterflies on it. Very pretty. And then I have one from Shirley of Arkansas. Oh, and by the way, Shelly was from Ohio. Let me see, did I get the other one? Yeah. This is from Shirley. And this one's from Shirley. So she just inverted uh, the two fabrics and made two. Very nice. Great idea. This one's from Sandy of Florida. Gotta have sunshiny yellow on there for Florida, right? Lovely. Uh, this one is from Rita of California. Nice greens and a little bit of yellow. And then we have one from Shirley from California. Did I say that already? No. Here it is. Shirley's block. And then Charlotte sent one. She is from Texas. And then this is Sherry, I think, from Ohio. And I believe she sent two blocks here as well. Same patterns, but two totally different color combinations. Very pretty. This is from Johnny of Mississippi. Nice fuchsia. And then Stephanie from Maryland. Beautiful. Uh, Mary from Florida. This one's really different. I like it. I love them all. Uh, Tammy from Louisville, Kentucky. You're just right across the bridge from me, aren't you? And she pieced her stripe across there. That's kind of different. And then, let's see, I forget who this is. Mignon, Mignon, Mignon. I don't, rem I don't know how to say your name, but you sent me a really cute card. I really love it. From Louisiana. This is her block. Nice tropical leaves there. This one's from Pam of Maryland. Pam's a friend of mine. Very pretty. You may have seen this one on the Facebook group too. Uh, this one is from Becky of Arkansas. 
pink and green. Joanne, I believe Joanne sent two. She did. Uh, this is one of them. This one has birds on it. And here's her second one. Big sunflowers. And then this one's Sharon from Michigan. She sent two. She also inverted the two. But look how different they can look. Pretty cool. And then this one is from Jenny. I don't know. You don't have the state on there. I think it's Ohio. It was postmarked in Ohio. Jenny. Blue and orange always looks good. And then the last one I have here is from Laura. But I think Laura was the first one to send me one. And she also is from the Louisville, Kentucky area. Taylorsville. So we got a good haul here. I don't know how many we have. Maybe I can take a second. Take this down and uh, put them up and see what they're looking like. Okay, there we go. Let me get out of the way. That's what we have so far. That's three rows. I'm not making it that wide probably unless I get a ton more blocks from you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is, this is the beginnings. It's in no particular order. Um, I think it's going to look pretty cool once we get it done very mosaic looking to me I love it that's kind of what batiks do they you can't really mess up with batiks you could just put them all together in a pile and sew them together and and they'll look good so yeah we're getting there we're getting there so that's three by two four six eight ten twelve three by twelve we have um, 36 blocks so if we could get about that many more I think we'll have ourselves a quilt so if any of you haven't jumped on board uh, with this project yet and would like to send a block check out my address in the description box uh, of lessons learned and you can send me one block and all the instructions are there for making the block as well the uh, um, measurements and all of that and then um, you can you can send that on and uh, I'll continue to show them on finish it Friday and when we have enough we'll make ourselves a quilt we'll make an auction and we'll sell the quilt donate the proceeds to the Humane Society and we'll help our furry friends around the world who need a home or need medical treatment or whatever they may need will get what they need so um, very special charity for me Okay, so let's see what came in this week as finishes on your side of things. The first one that I have is from, it's from Dolly. And she sent this almost right after last week's Finish It Friday. <laughs> right after I'd already uh, filmed it at least. Um, she says, I dragged my feet this week and didn't get this finish entered in your display. I finally blogged about it just now and you can read the blog post by following the link in the signature below and that's Dolly's Home Blogspot.com. Uh, the story is a bit long and I didn't want to take up so much time on your video but the gist is that I have copied a little quilt of mine for a friend. So I've enclosed photos of both quilts and you can choose how you, how and what you think works best to share. The older quilt is the one with the six bright diamonds and the newest is the one with the nine bright diamonds. Well, we're going to show all of these. Very pretty. Those, those bright diamonds are just jumping right off of the quilt, aren't they? That's really a neat effect. And then the other one... I can see it's it's almost identical. It, it's hard for me really to see which one's which. Uh, the top two pictures are the one, and then the bottom two pictures are the the new one. I believe you said. Very colorful. This is like, um, you know, you take your scraps, your string blocks, make string blocks out of your your strips, and cut them, and you come up with this configuration. 
and it looks great very colorful I love it very nice uh, Dolores sent a picture of her um, iron gate quilt this is a pattern that uh, I have a free PDF for um, there's a video dedicated to it as well how to make it and uh, hers turned out really good she used wovens for hers I think their wovens or flannels I forget yeah wovens and muslin is what she used so it's a very old-fashioned looking quilt yet has a modern uh, flair to it with the pattern so that's a that's a nice um, fusion if you will of old and new even though all of her uh, materials were new turned out good I love it Dolores does her own uh, free motion quilting on her domestic sewing machine as well Diane she says finish this top at a recent quilt retreat I read the pattern wrong and instead of squaring the blocks to 14 and a half I squared them to 14 oh well I don't think it matters on this top really liked how the top turned out yeah it turned out fine not a problem as long as they're all the same size it doesn't matter she says it's a fun pattern and we'll definitely use it again and I was looking closer at it and um, those are four individual pieces it looks like maybe those triangles would be applique on top but it's not it's actually pieced I wonder if, if you used a paper piecing for that or if you just used templates or what you did for that you'll have to let me know uh, the last one well I have two more I have Kayleen she has uh, some things that she did on the long arm this week she says I had a very productive week with the long arm quilting while I do feel like it's becoming easier to maneuver my way out of oopsies and uh oh's it is certainly not without plenty of frustration I'm sure you know what I mean yes I know what you mean here are two of my finishes from this past week the purple based quilt is made from the dusk to dawn line from Monique Jacobs I didn't use a pattern it's just a bunch of HSTs arranged based on a photo I found on Pinterest and it ended up about 60 by 60 I used the stars edge to edge stitch pattern and it's a gift for my sister and her husband for their anniversary yeah I think you may have sent this top in before but now it's completely finished turned out great with all those purples and burgundies in there the cream based quilt is made from a John Wayne fabric line a gift for my dad and is based on the Tahoe pattern from cluck cluck so I added the white sashing because there was no way my seams would ever all line up I also added the border it ended up at 75 by 82 and I just used a me meandering stitch that pro stitcher like calls stippling yes I've used that that's what I used on that national park quilt that I made here recently I love this pattern um, it's very southwest looking and the John Wayne fabric is perfect for it very nice job congratulations on making more progress on your long arm knowledge <laughs> and then I have one more from Ann she just got her border on or binding on and sent this over not too many minutes ago <laughs> but I got you and I got you she said this is last summer's mystery quilt along from modern quilt studio summer camp it's going right on my bed beautiful love it that those lilac -y purples in there go so good with that acid green background you used and I see you did a wave stitch on there looks great lots of blocks lots of blocks but it looks like every other so many you have like bars of blocks so those weren't too difficult none of them really look that difficult but it's definitely uh, a very very nice finish I'm glad you got it into me today I didn't have a whole lot to show today so this was this was good very good I love it all right thank you for sending in your pictures and thank you for supporting the blues boutique project and feel free to send more blocks or if you haven't done that yet as I mentioned before uh, send it to the address one envelope and one stamp and one block will get it here fine so thank you so much for that and I will be back here on Monday for Monday quilt chat 
and then I'll have another video prepared for you on Wednesday. Please check to see if you are subscribed. If you're not, hit the subscribe button and also the black bell that lets you know when I have new videos out three a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm always here, almost always here, most of the time, probably 95% of the time. Once in a while I have to, to cancel. I'll have to think about the following week and our, our trip related to the eclipse viewing. So I don't know if the weather's going to be any good for it. It's not looking too good now, unfortunately, but we still will be making a trip anyway, uh, have non-refundable reservations. So we will, um, I, I'm thinking we're going to be gone that following Monday. So uh, either I'll get something out to you on Monday that I pre-did or I will have to cancel that that Monday. But this coming Monday, I will be here. So have a great weekend. Get something out to sew. Get out your whips or your UFOs or start a new project with all that stash you have. So we'll see you soon and have a great one. Bye.